main difficulty is the fact that they're coming to a country where they're the minority. The problem is that when they come here, they have to face a lot of social stigma because they are seen as the lower class no matter how much we try to present them as people that we are willing to integrate with the society. The truth is, is that they are still considered the lower class because of the job scopes that they do. It's similar to any other low-income job. Uh, it does not necessarily need to be a migrant worker, but it's especially so for them because they are foreigners, A, B, they are minorities. Um, I think one of their difficulties is probably like the poor living conditions. When they're in Singapore, I think that like if they sign up with a company, most likely they are um, they are asked to live in dormitories together. So because a lot of people are living in the same area, um, it, it can be quite cramped and there's not much for maintenance. So uh, that's why the, the sanitary conditions are also not that great. So that's one of like um, the problems that they face when they're working in Singapore. They're really hardworking people. Like whenever I see them, they're always very focused in what they're doing and um, on task. I, I don't really see them that I uh, like see the farm workers that often. I think I've mostly had a good impression of them because I've never experienced anything that may have changed the way I feel about them. Uh, I do consider them as like normal everyday people you see on the street. It's actually really nice. There was one time where um, I met this. Um, I dropped my wallet uh, on the way up from the escalator and this. This guy he painting the walls, and so he actually like uh, near the escalator, so he like gave me a walk, and he was so nice about it. So I don't have a bad impression of them, and I don't think anyone should, um, because I don't think that their job or them or their racial background should define how we feel about them. So I think it's very easy for us to say that, oh, try to empathize with them and understand them, which is something that all schools or the government, everyone tries to do. When you're looking on them as people from outside, when you're looking at them as foreigners, that's where there's already a clear distinction. The fact that you see the migrant worker as someone not part of Singapore or someone that may be different is already where the divide or the so-called imbalance starts to appear so if you want to show your understanding the first step is to make sure that you don't even create this form of like these thoughts don't come to your head that there's someone different secondly i mean you can always the second way to help them out would probably be to be more active in uh, volunteering with them or uh, trying to spend more time with them to really see and understand their view and the way they see singapore because for a lot of them they actually really enjoy the experience they have here we could just make the experience much easier when we try to understand them and we try to, you know, actively seek out to better their burdens and better their um, plight. I don't think there's much that we can do actually, like to be honest. Because their main problem is probably like financial. That's one of the main reasons why they came to Singapore. And I don't think like as students we can really do much for that matter. But um, one thing that we can do is like um, probably to show more appreciation for their efforts and contributions towards the development of Singapore. And because we look around us every day and we don't think about like what really goes into the maintenance of like our public transport system and construction of like our buildings that we live in. So I think that one thing we can do is to show more appreciation to the foreign workers and migrant workers who come to our country and leave their home country to um, help make Singapore a better place. I have a job as uh, electrical technicians with the construction site. At 7.35 I am meeting the safety meeting. 8 o'clock start, the 7 p.m. the finish to work. Uh, lunch time, one hour, break time, the off an hour. I work in a construction company. This company build building, MRT station and market shopping mall. My working hour is daily 8 to 5. My position is workplace safety and health coordinator. I promoted it in 2013.
before I just working as a safety supervisor. Every day morning I conduct tool box meeting, brief all workers uh, to the activity, brief to them, then how to prevent the risks. Then we always remind the worker workplace safety is very important for our family, our children, our parents all waiting for us. So ensure no worker work injury on site. Working construction is not so easy, build building is all high risk activity is there. So always face some problem, worker injury, accident happening. The China national worker, he working in tower crane and he is an electrical shop. He died on top of the crane. So very difficult to because I am the first trader, I am being a wing of C operator beside this man. So until the ambulance is coming, I I do the CPR for him. So I think this very high level. But uh, this is the connection issue. But about the worker related some problems. So some worker coming newly Singapore, even the Bangladesh, India, China, Myanmar. So they very difficult to have first time. So sometimes the communication problem. Uh, we take the top top position. So is these people don't know we need to support to them. That's why basic language Tamil and Chinese and Thai language we basic language learn to solve this problem. New men come in the any countries new Singapore here coming working, but new men the working but thinking for the house countries. This six months, seven months, this uh, family distance. I thinking for my family, my house, my friend, my country. Uh, construction site. Yes, there is uh, about 90% is foreigner. Singapore are working only by some top position, supervisor, engineer, or some working office staff. But we working lives with them actually no problem because Singapore people very support the foreigner. Be uh, they advising very nice. Uh, very nice the Singaporeans man sometimes uh, helping the workers the top of mobile top the new person come uh, any place to go with the you go the address give me the correct address the inside go the amortizations is uh, the properly address uh, explain. Singapore, all I like it. Uh, safety, uh, but pass aside all friendship, new friendship. Uh, but all country, anyone I like it. Anyone no problem. 20 years, I 2000 coming now, 19 is 20 years. This is like my second home. Only. Actually, I also want to stay in Singapore. My family also four time come to Singapore. Then, Everything okay, except food. Food only some expensive. It's a nice country. 